I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys. I'm not happy with the way it looks. So these are a few designs that we actually came up with. Um, I think he's most likely going to go with this one. So this one has to go into production. Um, a few of these parts is going out to Quinton Borland. consider subscribing to the channel and then if you haven't already checked out our current giveaway I'm giving a set of ARC coilovers away to one of you guys also if the coilovers that I um, supply does not accommodate your car I will give you a voucher or STM voucher that you can spend at STM with that out of the way what we do have planned for today is to work on the EG as well as the Yaris few maintenance work that needs to be done to the Yaris and then we plan on fitting um, the CR headlight washers um, on the EG. Before we do install it however, I do plan on maybe just sanding them down and spraying them because these are 3D printed and they have a certain texture to it. So just to give it a little bit of that wrong spec, I am going to sand them down and spray them black and then we can fit them onto the EG. Okay guys, so with the Yaris, um, this bumper keeps on coming loose here, but I think it's because it's broken over there. So I plan on putting a washer here and then maybe just gluing it and then maybe just getting another clip here so that it keeps it in. Um, the reason why I actually never done that yet is because I actually want to spray the inside of this um, black uh, so that it looks actually more clean I would say. This side also needs some um, adjustments done. What I'm also going to do is, I'm going to spray this section over here black uh, because there is some overspray there as well. So as you can see, this whole bumper is basically loose. Uh, and I also just need to get clips over here so the bumper remains um, on the car. So yeah, that is what we have planned for the Yaris as well. So this is where we're at with um, the Yaris. I ended up actually removing this and I plan on removing this grill on the other side as well because it does have some overspray on it. So I plan on maybe just spraying this anyway and making it look a little bit fresh. And then we do have the washers over here. They're just drying up. Also I have this piece over here that goes in the center so yeah, the Yaris is basically getting a full makeover or how can I say just cleaning it up a little bit. Um, I just painted the sections over here um, and in, in future I do plan on doing these lights as well. Okay, so what you guys might have not seen in the time lapse was I just added this washer over here so that it gives the bumper a little bit of more strength so when I do put in the clip the bumper won't actually come loose okay guys so this is pretty much what uh, the washers look like I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys I'm not happy with the way it looks and if you guys can see these dots on it um, I might just sand it now again and maybe spray it until it does actually come right and then I'll install it Okay guys, so just quickly off camera. I just sand them again down and spray them again. They look way more better right now uh, Be in mind I just threw uh, a coat on right now. So it is actually still wet once it dries I'm hoping it gives a little bit of a more matte finish and then we can have them fitted onto the car
okay guys so i'm all done this is what the artist looks like as you guys can see it looks way more cleaner on the inside of here and the overspray is basically gone um, the bumper sits a little bit way more better on to the car as well and then this is the eg um, let me just move to the front show you guys what the washes look like so this is what the washes look like guys came out pretty good um, just want to say a massive thanks to CR for actually sponsoring me these um, came out very good makes the car look way more different especially with this lip I think that the the washes definitely uh, complements this whole pumper with this lip on as well uh, but as you guys have seen in the video I haven't fully set it up where it's actually functional um, I did not actually want to drill into my bumper but if you guys are interested in seeing me actually do that please let me know in the comment section and then I'm basically going to end of this section of the video I think I have a few more videos that I'll maybe just add to this as well and then if you guys do like what the EG looks like please do give this video a thumbs up and enjoy the rest of the video Hey guys, so I'm back at LA Racing. Uh, we're just busy with um, matching up how um, the exhaust exit um, covers are going to look like. So these are a few designs that we actually came up with. Um, I think he's most likely going to go with this one. So this one has to go into production. And then we also have um, these diffusers which are now made in aluminium. And they actually fit perfectly over here. So that's also something that we supplied and then this is for the all-wheel drive um, ballad this is a prelude loop and then he has some new lights as well this is a bonnet that might be going to a customer that's over there and then this is also the tappet cover that we will be sponsoring a lot as well so yeah um, all of these parts you'll be seeing going onto the car um, we might just do a video on this insulation will allow him to do it himself so yeah this is just a quick update on the whole Lau situation and then yeah once everything is installed etc we might just do a video of the installation of the fuses etc as well as the bonnet or the exhaust exits but yeah i'll keep you guys in the loop with that um, and then yeah i'm just going to chill with Lau. Um, catch up with him and then yeah hope you guys enjoy the small section of the video and enjoy the rest of the video It's like an S2000 one, you know? I like that one. That's the one you bought. <laughs> you bought it from Kenny, from Ambo Phones, he designed it. dudes welcome back to the channel so in today's video we'll be finally revealing the s2000 in its full complete form what we plan on doing specifically today is just maybe to go to Aiko Auto Express and see how far they actually got with the s2000 I know Ashton mentioned something about spraying um, ceramic coat on the s2000 and then before we do it out I just thought I'll share this with you guys um, a few of these parts is going out to Quentin Borlan. Um, this is a wing for him for his CL9 Accord that he recently bought and a set of ARC coilovers. I also have a lip that's going out to him as well. 
So the reason why I'm actually sharing that with you guys is because uh, when he actually phoned me, it was, I even told him like it's a big honor to have spoken to him. If you are a Honda fan, you would know who Quentin Bolin is. He's also known as um, King K. I think he might even be the fastest Honda in South Africa. And then I also know that he went to America sometime to actually race there as well. So yeah, if you do know Quentin Bolin, you know exactly what I'm speaking about. So it is an honor for me to actually be supplying him um, those, those parts. I am actually going to go drop um, the parts at the courier or the, my courier guy on my way to actually AK Auto Express where I'll be showing you guys what the S2000 looks like. Yo guys, so just before I actually head off to the S2000, I just thought I'd share this with you guys. As you guys can see in the background, we are now able to... Um, create some 3d parts for you guys as well so this is just something that we recently also created um, i'm also at the office of a friend of mine um, it's called express logistics solutions um, so he assists me with all my couriering and if you guys want a discount you can just use stm wong spec um, and then this is also a few parts that i am sending out to them um, this is actually going to quentin Bolin, like i previously mentioned um, so yeah guys, if you are interested in some 3D printed things as well as um, some couriering, use my discount code STM Wongspec and that will assist you as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's go check out the S2000. So this is what the S2000 looks like right now. As you can see, the doors are on the car, um, boot is on the car, back uh, bumper, etc. You also notice that the wheels are already sprayed silver and then the calipers are also sprayed freshly red um, and then they just move towards the front of the car um, i know i showed you guys the headlights in the previous video however the headlights has been redone so as you can see over here i'll just link the information of the dude that actually did that Carl mentioned i can't recall the name um, he did a very good job and then Carl also just left with the filter so we can't really put the front bumper on until he gives the filter because the filter needs to be put on before we actually put on the front bumper so this is also the front bumper um, uh, it's almost done um, i also mentioned that we are going to put the washers on the headlight washers on the old bumper it's actually flushed out so like i also mentioned car wants to go for a more oem look and you can also see here these are the side i think they are called side spats or side skirts it's like a small little thing that gets put on in that corner over there um, like i also mentioned the mold wasn't that great and ashton actually managed to make it look a little bit better and then what we also have here is um, the heat shield these are the other wheels sprayed silver so the s2000 wheels actually uh, more of a I can say brush finish, but this is a silver finish, which I haven't seen a lot of S2000s actually run. This is what the caliper looks like, all fresh and out. And then let me just move over to what the rear wing looks like. So I advise Kyle to actually go with an OEM wing, but he actually really still likes this wing. However, there were some changes done to this wing. It's made a little bit thinner. So this part is way more thinner, just to give it a little bit of a more OEM look. But this is the duck bill wing. I think these actually come off of the Rocket Bunny wide body kit, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it looks a little bit more sleek. Um, what I actually did not really like about this wing is that they are very bulky, but Ashen actually made it look a little bit better. And then this is obviously the front lip that will also be going on so yeah the car is pretty much almost done um, what Ashton did mention is that what he will be doing today is going to basically sand down the car 
because Kyle mentioned he doesn't want any orange peel because he wants the car to be a show car. So that year, or what the plan is for today is to stand down the car, prepare it for the dude that is gonna come polish the car tomorrow. I might just be here for that and I'll show you guys the end result of that. Then the car will pretty much be done, but I think by this weekend it will most likely be complete. And like I also mentioned, I'm going to have uh, the EG with the S2000 and we can do a little bit of video. And then I also just want to say congratulations to the previous uh, giveaway winner. Um, we do have a new up and coming um, giveaway coming soon. Um, and then yeah, I'm just going to chill here and then just show you guys some progress on the S2000. Okay guys, and another thing I just missed, this is the rear bumper fitted onto the car. As you can see, it's now single exit. There used to be an exhaust on the side, but there's only one exit on the one side. It looks very really OEM. I think Ash and them did a very good job. If you guys do agree, please do give this video a thumbs up. It does really help with the video. So this is the progress on the S2000. As you guys have seen earlier, the car was all shiny and now it's this uh, dull matte color. The reason for that is, like I mentioned previously, um, the dude that is going to polish the car is going to come tomorrow. So what they basically did here was sand the car down, I think with a 2000 grid. I think that is to remove uh, the orange peel. So when the dude does polish it tomorrow, there will no longer be any orange peel and the car will be um, very very shiny so i'll try my best to be here for that tomorrow um, and show you guys that quick transformation from this how uh, can i say um asphalt look or dull look into uh, something that is going to look very very shiny so check you guys tomorrow